Every year in July, more than 300 11-year-old children come to Fukuoka from all over Asia and the Pacific region. They are the junior ambassadors to the Asian Pacific Children's Convention in Fukuoka, otherwise known as the APCC. The children are full of nerves and excitement when they arrive and they are greeted by the friendly faces of the APCC volunteers wearing their signature yellow t-shirts. These volunteers are very short time to work with children. But in the first time, they come to the first time and they meet the volunteers 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 and they meet the volunteers. The children are taken to Marine House to join the exchange camp as soon as they arrive. This is where they spend time with children of many different nationalities, learning about Japanese culture and lifestyle. At the exchange camp, the children have fun together despite their differences. やっぱりすごく思うのがですね、やっぱりその国と国でやっぱりそのまあ争いっていうか仲が良くないとことかがあったとしても、も別に普通に子供関係で一緒にサッカーとかをこうやってるんですよね。<笑>そういう民族間の集争いとかあるところでも、もう本当ここはもう国境もなんもないっていう。もう本当に。言葉の壁壁っていいう大きなながあるじゃないですか子どもたち同士だったり子どもたちと一緒だとすごいそれがもうなくなってしまって常に本当に心を開いた状態で触れ合えるっていういつも生活している自分とここでの自分っていうのがですねまた何かこう違う面っていうのを見つけれるのがすごいなんかそこがハマれる理由じゃないかなっていうふうに思ってます。At the end of the exchange camp, the children meet their host families. Both the junior ambassadors and the host families have been looking forward to meeting each other for a long time. During the homestay, the participants come together one more time to take part in a huge event in the heart of Fukuoka city. This event gives the participants and spectators a chance to experience the various cultures of the participating countries and regions through music and dance. <laughs> In 1998, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the APCC, some of the participants from the past 10 years were invited to return to Fukuoka once again as peace ambassadors.
私1回目にここに来たのがきっかけになって英語を勉強するようになりました。英語もね、えー、偉いね。<笑> Not of concrete and cement, but from heart to heart. While they were in Fukuoka, the Peace Ambassadors formed an organization called the Bridge Club. The Peace Ambassadors come together to discuss the problems their countries are facing during the annual Bridge Club camp. The Bridge Club has helped ex participants to form networks of them as APCC alumni. In 2004, Titi from Bridge Club Bangladesh was invited to the United Nations in New York to make a presentation about APCC's activities at the 2004 Young Leaders Summit. In New York, eight goal is global partnership. JCI Japan, especially the JC Fukuoka, is working on this goal with the collaboration of APCC. And we went there to have a presentation on APCC activities, and、uh, which is related to the Millennium Go-、uh, Development Goal 8, the Global Partnership. After our presentation, all the members of Junior Chamber, all the national leaders from each country, they asked me more about our activities, and they also wanted to join APCC, and they asked me to approach APCC after coming back to Japan. APCC participants everywhere have a special bond forged during their time in Fukuoka. The Bridge Club Network helps them to use their experiences to work together on projects that promote peace and coexistence. As their homestay draws to a close, the junior ambassadors and their host families. Prepare to say goodbye and return to their normal routines. The exchange of cultures and languages, which begins with 11 year old junior ambassadors, forms the basis of their experience as global citizens. These children become ambassadors, spreading friendship around the world. The APCC began in 1989 as part of the Asian Pacific Expo. Behind the success, which has enabled the APCC to continue for so many years, there is a tremendous amount of effort and passion. The original aim was to bring together 1,000 children in Fukuoka. This proved to be a monumental event in terms of scale and participant numbers. Senji Kobayashi was one of the directors of Fukuoka Junior Chamber when the APCC was founded. At the time, they were unsure of whether they would be able to put on such an ambitious event, but Mr. Kobayashi gathered together and said to them, Thus began the quest to make the seemingly impossible a reality. 
Nevertheless, there were many who still thought the completion of the APCC project beyond their reach. The biggest problem for the junior chamber was financing the APCC project. Mr. Kobayashi approached a number of companies looking for sponsorship. Fukuoka Junior Chamber worked tirelessly to raise more than $2 million. Mr. Kobayashi's junior chamber brought a new lease of life to Fukuoka's most influential financial institutions by involving them in something which was to benefit the whole city. To ensure the future cooperation of the sponsors, the Asian Pacific Children's Convention of Supporters Association was formed. In 1989, more than 1,000 children came to Fukuoka as part of the APCC project. At last, the Junior Chamber were able to see the results of all their hard work coming together. However, there were still a number of problems and everybody involved watched the news in horror as typhoons swept through Japan on the day the children were due to arrive. In the end, they were forced to land in Osaka and catch the Shinkansen bullet train to Fukuoka delaying the carefully planned program. Luckily, this turned out to be a relatively minor delay in APCC terms, and a mere five hours later than planned, the children arrived in Fukuoka, tired but happy to have reached the end of their various journeys. <laughs> In 1989, the exchange camp housed more than 2,000 people, the biggest APCC event to date. This was a hastily thrown together affair and almost had to be abandoned because the July heat was thought too much for some of our participants to bear. Luckily, it rained the day before the camp, which cooled the air to a more bearable temperature. The staff started to prepare for the children's arrival. The sheer size of the camp was overwhelming, with 1,000 members of staff and enough food to cook more than 10,000 meals. In the end, the first APCC concluded without any major incidents and was hailed as a huge success. Finally, the smile returned to the face of Senji Kobayashi. <laughs> Once everything had finished and the children had returned to their home countries, the staff also breathed a sigh of relief. Since then, the APCC and Fukuoka have developed together and are both heading for a bright future.
これをやるとねもう2回目からやらざるをえんようになるわけですねこれがやる側の覚悟ですよねいわば市民の税制の覚悟,でもあ覚悟でもあったし市民の覚悟でもあったし自治体としての福岡市の覚悟でもあったし都市としての福岡の覚悟でもあったその覚悟を継続させるために第一回目の選任というのが必要だったんですねあの時200人でしたら多分ねこれだけ長く続いてなかったんだよ続いてなかった The passion of the people involved in the APCC is the key to its continuing success. Yeah. <laughs>